Hey everybody, welcome back. And uh, to those of you who are keeping up with and are watching the videos as they come out, happy 2011 to each of you. I hope you had a uh, uh, good Christmas and uh, prosperous 2011. Time to go back to work on this speedometer chart. When we last left our chart in the last year, we had this data section all ready to go and replicated uh, the model that we had down below here. So now what I want to do is uh, go to work on creating the this red, yellow, green, this outside area, if you will, of this dashboard. That's what I want to do this time. And then we'll worry about getting the dial right and some other things uh, in the next video. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm, we're graphing the outer area today. That's what we want to chart. So I'm going to highlight that area, go to Insert, and under Other Charts, there's a donut chart, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the donut. And you're going to say, oh, that doesn't look a whole lot like your speedometer yet, but it will. First thing we're going to do is I don't need that legend. And then here's the kind of the trick of the day. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the donut series, and then we're going to double-click on this purple one here. If you look at it, let me slide this out of the way just for a second. This purple is charting 180 degrees, this bottom uh, area of uh, these four data points. And what I want to do is I want to hide it and then I want to rotate it so that it's it's on the bottom part of my chart. So let me show you how you, the, the hiding part's easy. We're just going to click fill and do no fill. And then if I slide this a little bit, you can see I don't have purple anymore. Now I don't have anything. Now here's the trick. In series options, you can rotate the angle of the first slice. Depending on where, if if the data you want to hide is at the top or at the bottom, you can change what the rotation is. You can do it this way. What I'm going to do is rotate it 270 degrees and click close. Now we're starting to look a lot more like what we had down there. See, I've got my three areas that are 45, 90, and 45 degrees of my donut circle. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, and we're going to go to the Layout menu, and... Oops, excuse me, format. We're going to go to format and shape fill. And let's see, this needs to be red. And this area, the shape fill, needs to be yellow. And you can see Excel following along with me. Let me show you another way to do this on this last one. Besides going to the format menu in here, you can also right click this area. And we can format the data point and get back to a fill menu, solid fill, and green like I was going to. That's another way to get to the same place. So now I have red, yellow, and green. I have this area hidden. I'm close to where I want to be. Uh, one, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the chart area here. Let's see if I can, see, oh, the, the plot area, that's what I want, the plot area. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll try to drag it out just a little bit wider. Part of the challenge with these dashboards is they take up a fair amount of space for this, this speedometer does on a dashboard as compared to some of the other things you can do. So sometimes I'll just kind of drag them out and make them as big as I can. And then we'll shrink this down just a little bit so it kind of fits more or less above what our old guy had. And then what we'll do is we'll click this one more time and then see if you won't let me go something like this. And I'm somewhere near where I want to be. Last thing I want to do is I want to put low, medium, and high on here. So what we can do is we can click over here inside the chart Let's go to layout and we're going to turn on the data labels. And so uh, that's a start. The <laughs> problem is my data labels say 45, 90, and 45. We can do better than that. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go to design and we're going to select data. And it says my horizontal axis labels. In my donut, that's what's showing up inside those sections. So we're going to edit that. And I'm going to come over here and say, no, I want this. Enter there, and click OK, and click OK. Now I still have 45, 90, and 45, but when I come back to Layout and Data Labels, More Options, let me click Category Name and I'll show you. See now it's saying the category name and the value, and if I get rid of the value, now I'm more or less close to where I want to be. I've got low, medium, and high. I've got 45% share or 45%, you, could eat, you can make this 45% done. You can do all kinds of things with that. The other thing you can do is you can click right here and then click on it again. And now I'm all, see how the first time I had that at all the labels. Second time when I clicked, I've just got that. 
and I can make this bold and make this a little bit bigger maybe something like that now I, that's what I wanted to get through today I've got my donut chart ready I've got the outer layer of my speedometer good to go next time we're gonna work on putting this this marker in there or this indicator on the dial so we can tell how far along we are in our progress stay tuned next time we'll work on that thanks for watching